So about a year ago, I made a video about Ananaceous acetogenins, but um, that previous video, I do not feel that it adequately addressed the concerns people were having based on the responses I was getting. So I decided to take it down. Um, this video will be less formal, uh, but I'll put some citations at the bottom if anyone's interested in reading them. Uh, I don't worry about ananaceous acetogenins and the neurotoxicity, and this is for a couple reasons. Um, the first and main reason is that they're not very bioavailable. Uh, acetogenin is a waxy, fatty substance that is slowly absorbed in the human gut, as most substances with poor solubility are. Um, it's not soluble in water, so this means we absorb it inefficiently. Um, there have been studies, not in humans, but in rodents, uh, that show the bioavailability is right around 3%. Um, and we can extrapolate into humans uh, on that number by presuming that we probably absorb even less because most of it is destroyed in the gastric phase and humans have a lower stomach pH than rodents do. So that is the first reason why I don't worry about them. The second one is that ananaceous fruits have a wide array of acetogenins spread throughout the family. Anonisin is not the only one, nor is it the most heinous of them. Um, I believe bolatacin is the strongest and most neurotoxic of them, and that occurs in sugar apples and in um, Anona boleta, Anona purpurea, and a few other Anona species that are widely eaten by humans in tropical areas. Uh, so indigenous people have been eating ananaceous foods for a long time and they aren't idiots you know they, they notice subtle things um, a lot of folk medicines uh, use these compounds for anti-cancer treatments uh, which is something that science is only now corroborating so you know for the neurotoxicity um, there's something else going on when you look at things like the guadalupe study what you're seeing i think is instances where the bioavailability was somehow boosted by something else they had in their diet or environmental factors or something. I don't think it was from just eating the fruit. I think there's more to it. Um, and these are the reasons why I don't really worry about casual eating of pawpaw. If you're a healthy person with health, healthy digestion, you should be fine. You know, if people were this concerned about alcohol, consumption and the neurotoxicity of that common compound that humans ingest, uh, we'd all be a lot better off, I think. Um, so don't sweat the neurotoxins. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. Um, and if that changes, I will let you know.